revolutionary music makers. I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to Hack Music Theory. Where we help you make great music that stands out. If you're new to our channel, please help yourself to our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks to Learn Skills and Chords, which you can download from our website. Alright, it's time to open your door to Hack Music Theory. But first, you know the drill. In Tool's epic 10 minute title track, Fear Inoculum, there's a standout section that starts at 549. We covered the guitar riff in last week's lesson, so if you missed that, please check it out, because the polymeter is actually created from that riff, which alternates between 12-8 and 5-4, playing over the bass and drums, which are in 11-8. While the riff sounds like it's slowing down and speeding up due to the pulse changing, the time signature of the rhythm section is constant. So, in this polymeter, those two layers line up with each other every second bar. This results in a super tasty syncopation when the bass and drums accent beat one of every other bar of 11-8, because the guitar doesn't even play that beat. In fact, the 11-8 rhythm section perfectly lines up with the riff's 12-8 bar, right up until that 12th 8th note, which then becomes beat 1 for the bass and drums, but not for the guitar. Alright, now you're going to learn how to use this theory to make your own version, and for the example in this lesson we'll be using our version that we made earlier. So, start by setting up a 1 bar of 12-8 and a 1 bar of 5-4, with your grid set to 8th notes and your tempo set to 150 BPM. Step 1. Drums. First things first, you're probably wondering why you just set your time signature to 12-8 and 5-4 instead of 11-8. Well, the reason for that is so you can actually see the polymeter. In other words, setting your grid like this will reveal that super tasty syncopation which results from this polymeter. Because, as you'll notice in the second bar, beat 1 of the rhythm section is an 8th note earlier than beat 1 of the guitar. Right, so start by playing closed hats on all the eighth notes except for one of them, which will be an open hat. Then between any two hats, add a 16th closed hat for some spice. Next, add snare hits on the 4th 8th note and the 10th 8th note in each bar. This will ensure your listeners hear that 3-3-3 three, two, grouping the tool used in their rhythm section. And finally, add kicks wherever you want, except for where there's already a snap. And by the way, if you want help writing better drum grooves, then we've got two drum PDFs for you, which both come with MIDI file examples as well. So if that sounds useful to you, then you can download them from hackmusictheory.com. Step two, bass. As we mentioned in last week's lesson, Tool are in the A Phrygian mode here, which is A, B flat, C, D, E, F, and G. So you can choose any of those notes for your bass line, but start each bar on A, and be sure to also include B flat and C to get that dark Phrygian vibe. Now, regarding rhythm, the grouping here is the same as your drums. Three, 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 Two. And you want to play eighth notes exclusively to match the energy of your drums, but include a few eighth note rests as well to keep the rhythm fresh. Alright, now let's have a listen to our tool inspired bass and drums. But just before the playthrough, if there's an artist you'd like us to hack up, please let us know. Thanks for watching or listening if you're on the podcast, and we'll see you next week.